All right, so for today, we are gonna do a little bit of work on our uh, Cadillac Escalade. And what we have is a little bit of noise when we start up the motor in the morning when it's cold. You can hear the exhaust coming out of the exhaust manifold. So I'm thinking the uh, manifolds are uh, leaking. And so I got my kit with my new gaskets. And so what we're going to do today is install these. So I got it up on the lift. I probably don't need a lift to do this. You could just take the wheel off, jack it up and take the wheel off. But it looks like the easiest way to do this is to access it, the manifold up through the uh, wheel well. And there's all the manifolds with the bolts and everything. So we're gonna access it through the wheel well here see if we can't get it done. But one thing we can do to get a little more room is to take this uh, inner liner out and that'll give us a little more room to access everything. So it looks like the first step is gonna be to take the liner out and then we can get to the manifold. So we'll set up and do all that. But the liner's pretty easy. It just has the screws and these little plastic push things that go around and then a couple of little little pins you got to take out so we'll get that took out i won't make a video of taking that out because that's pretty straightforward and then we'll get into taking the manifold out once we uh get there all right so we got our inner fender out so that was really easy just a few screws so now we can see the whole manifold <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the heat shield off with all these little bitty screws and then we're going to take uh, disconnect it from the uh, exhaust so we can uh, pull it out. I don't have to take it all the way out, but I have to get it loose enough that I can slip the gasket in there. And so what I'm going to do is take some of that loose so we can get that gasket in there. Be a good time to check our motor mount. I got another motor mount just in case if it's bad. That motor mount's right here. These 6.2s are notorious for breaking these mounts. And I've already replaced the motor mount on the uh, driver's side. So I figured, hey, what the heck, might as well, if we uh, see that this one's bad, we can go ahead and replace it out. They don't cost that much. So we'll get all that heat shield off and uh, then we'll be good to go. But it just held on with all these little little ones here. Doop, 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 doop. And then we'll take those three loose on the down. So time for a little WD-40 and uh, see if we can't get these bolts out without snapping them. All right, so we got our bolts off of our heat shield, and he's out of the way, but he won't come out the bottom, so I was just gonna make a quick video. Here he is sitting up at the top. What you can do is disconnect some of these hoses from their little clamps. You don't have to disconnect the hose, and then you can wiggle him up and get him pointed upward, and then slide him right out of the top so you can get him out of your way. So he'll come out of the top of the motor. And he just comes right up off of there. You just have to wiggle it around a little bit. And away he'll come. So we got that part off now. We can move on to the next. So just a little tip on that. So now we can see all of our bolts up in there. And we're going to go after these bolts that hold the manifold on after we take these three off. And you can see we got a WD-40, so hopefully we can break them loose. All right, so we got our exhaust bracket removed. And you notice I didn't take the oxygen sensor off because I don't like dealing with them because every time I take one off there, I break it. So you can get that loose with the oxygen sensor still on there. You just have to use a box in regular wrench. And then for the other two, you can use a long extension and a socket so we are getting ready to take this manifold off and you can see on my spark plugs i put little numbers on the uh, plug wires i don't think you can confuse it because they look like they come straight down off the coil packs but just in case i'll go ahead and number them and it's probably a good time i need to pull a plug and see if these plugs are any good yeah because i can change them real easy right now so i may do that pop a plug out while i'm doing this manifold but all we have left to do is take the bolts off the manifold. So we just got to take these out. 
on either side of the ports and we should be good to go. So we got all of our bolts out, if you can see up in there. So all of our bolts are out, but as I got to the back one back here, the one in the very back, up there by that last spark plug, there is no bolt head on it. So it sometime in the past has got its head knocked off. You can see it up in there. So I don't have anything to take out now with. So I'm gonna have to pull this manifold to get to that bolt and get that and extract it. I got the new set of bolts. It's always a good idea to buy the bolts when you buy your gasket kit. So we just gotta get that bolt out, but that means that I gotta take the dipstick tube out as well. So that little tube right there that comes down, that little tube's gotta come out and it's only held on by a clamp on the top up there. So we'll get that off, pull that tube out, and then see if we can't get this whole manifold off. Then we can get the bolt out and see if we can't put it all back together. So we got one more step. As always, there's something that goes on. But hey, at least all the rest of them came out without snapping off. So pretty happy about that. So we'll get this one apart and then get this manifold off here. All right, so we were successfully able to extract that bolt from the back back there. I went and too bad at all. So now we got all of our bolts out, manifold laying over the side. So now we're ready to put this thing back together. So while I'm at it, like I say, these spark plugs are pretty easy to access at this point. So I'm headed off to the store to get some plugs and do this while I'm doing this little change here and we'll be good for quite a few more miles. So uh, we'll get this thing wrapped back up. But not too bad to uh, take the manifold off and then uh, once I get this and button back up, I'll switch over to the other side and we will video how to take that one off. So all in all, not too bad to get that bolt out. What I ended up doing was just getting a nut and uh, putting some weld on it with my little trusty welder. And uh, here's my little welder. So just a little wire feed welder works great. And just put a bump on there and it gives you something to grip a hold of and uh, you can take that thing right out. So the first try, it didn't stick, so I went ahead and uh, did it again and we got it on out of there. All right, so now we are looking at replacing the passenger side motor mount. We already placed the driver's side, it was the one that was broken, but I figure if that one breaks, this one's probably not any better, so we're gonna replace it too while we're doing this uh, manifold exhaust manifold uh, gasket leak, which turned out to be a broken bolt. So to get this off, it looks like, I got the manifold hung back up there, and it looks like you might be able to get it out of there without taking the manifold off, but since I got the manifold off uh, unbolted, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. But it's pretty simple. Uh, all you do is take the three bolts out. Here's the, the replacement one. So we take the three bolts out of here and that uh, holds it on to the frame and then it's got four bolts up inside of the little heat shield and so they're a little difficult to get to but we should be able to get them out of there so especially now that we got the manifold out of the way so I don't know if you would have to take the manifold off to do this job somebody can comment whether or not you do but the manifold wasn't that bad as long as the bolts come off the risk is you'll break a bolt out of the manifold trying to uh, get it off there and then you'll end up doing a lot of work to try to get the bolts back back out so we'll get this one out of here and then we'll be able to button all this back up and put our manifold back on all right so we got our old motor mount out and although it's not as bad as the driver's side it's still broken it uh, rocks back and forth so there's, it's definitely as rubber's giving away. So we needed to change it. But it was a booger to get out of there. So I'll show you how I got it out of there by putting the other one back in. So let me get the camera set up so you can see. Yeah, so I'll show you how to slide it back in there. So we got a new motor mount. Looks like for sure, if you're gonna take this motor mount off, 
you would have to pull the manifold because there just isn't hardly any room at all. So here's our new motor mount. And so we got to get it oriented right to get in there. So it'll slip right up in here. And then you got to take the manifold up really high. sure got to have this manifold up out of the way so that's how you can put it right through that little hole right there and uh, then just sneak it around around the outside but you got to get the manifold way up out of the way so now we got the new mount at least back in the vehicle and so now we just got to bolt it back up some of those bolts were pretty hard to get to so you got to have uh, lots of extensions and swivels and uh, 3 8 drive seems to fit in there pretty good. So we'll mount that thing back up and lower the motor down. Oh, and by the way, of course you know when you take the motor mount out, you gotta have a, something to hold the motor up. And so I got one of these pretty cheap uh, engine lifts and just put some boards right across because it's not long enough to get all the way across the car. And chained it up on one side. I just picked the bolt that's down there it's got like a ground strap to it. So now that we got it back in there, we can get it bolted back up and put everything together and we'll change our spark plugs while we're at it. <laughs> 